a series, a series, a series. Solo. Yes. Um, yeah, no, I'm very interested in in that kind of situation too, because I guess especially as I'm kind of rethinking as we had just like re you know really rebooted and rearranged the office. Also, just that little bit of taking those um, Velcro strips and and bundling cords that are going along the back of your desk and stuff makes a big difference. Just in mm-hmm. just in you know keeping that mess. You know, it's still a mess, but it's like a confined mess. You know, so it's and a tidy even, mess. It's a tidy mess. That's a, I've even started like like tying up cords on the back of my production table when I'm at shows. Sometimes, if I have you know, been set, my setups have been been so early lately. I'm like, well, I'm just going to make sure this isn't a giant mess at the end of the night, right? So, but you know, little things, little things like that. So, um, I also have a little bit of a quality of life thing for the studio, but this is also something. This is something very specific to my situation. Um, I'm just always shocked when I'm like, is there a thing on Amazon I can get that will solve this problem? And a lot of times it's a nice, cheap little thing from a company I've never heard of. Um, and then you get peculiar messages after the fact because it's from some company that's getting really weird about um, um, their Amazon reviews. Um, <laughs> in fact, this one messaged me with a response to your problem on your shipment and I'm like there was no problem in my shipment and this email about hope you're doing good with the product by the way if this happens with the product make sure you set this resolution and stuff right I'm just like that was interesting unsolicited information that you sent me so I just bought three of these things these are um, some HDMI switchers um, just really simple two slot ones Um, because the problem I had was you know the ATM mini pro is really nice but it only has four ports and I'd find myself from going from this show where it's usually you guys on Zoom, me on a camera, um, maybe, you know, Katie in studio here, right? Um, and actually, that hasn't been the case. So it's been just everything set up for I got me, I got you guys on Zoom, and I got, like, the computer, right? And then and then I have to, like, take out all the plugs and plug in the cameras for the next one. I only need four at a time. But again, like unplugging, replugging, I'm worried about like, you know, the ports and the and the HDMIs going. So like, why are we, you know, constantly doing this if we don't need to? This is a built in. None of this stuff really leaves the studio anymore set up here. So I picked up these guys because basically I just duplicated everything on my setup here. And so, for instance, so we got Katie shot there. Hello, Katie. And we can click on our thing. And now we're switched over to... Um, and of course now I'm having a little bit of problem with it. This worked before the show. I swear this worked <laughs> before true. the show. It was definitely working before. Oh, there was a second. There is you go. It, so, it not like a resolution. No, every time, every once in a while it doesn't kick in right away, but this is my, uh, iPhone 8S plus, uh, 8, 8 plus, whatever it was. Um, and, um, I got Filmic Pro going, so it's got, it's got that full, uh, HDMI push out. But now, you know, if I wanted to show something on my phone, or if I wanted to use my phone for this, and then we have a guest in here, and there's Katie on another camera now. There it is. There Hello. It is. There you go. Um, <laughs> so, and in, in here's here are the devices. Again, you can see um, there's the A10 Mini Pro. There's my Blackmagic uh, video assist I'm using for the switcher. And then you can see my mess of wires here that I still need to tidy up. But there's my little switcher here. And I'll click this little button, and I'll switch over to Katie. Boom. Hello. There you go. <laughs> uh, I did have to fuss with it a little bit to get like this one computer, like uh, to get the resolution right and everything. Um, but other than that, like I, I saw the one worked. I was pretty happy with how it worked. I got two more. Um, I don't really switch the HDMI on the first one because it's usually my camera and I'm usually hosting most of the shows that we're doing here. But, you know, I might get another one just to be safe. Um, but uh, it's really, really helped. It's the it's an HDMI. I mean, it's one of those most generic names. Again, we'll have a link. Uh, HDMI switch 4K 60 hertz HDMI splitter aluminum HDMI. Um, it's not even, I don't even have a brand name on this. V W R H A R V O R V O R V O R. You know, um, what is it? Wait, wait, is there a company? Hold on. Is there a company on the back? Set product service out limited in London, United Kingdom. So there you go. <laughs> so that so uh, I, it was just again just a ten dollars solution um, that kind of duplicated this, and you know I didn't any, need anything super super robust because it's just a built-in, just it's here ready to go kind of thing. So I'm I'm happy with it. It's it's added a little bit more functionality to this until I finally suck it up and just buy a mini pro extreme <laughs> with eight ports or something, which I'll probably do for some. I'm actually considering it for an, for a 
third road setup actually is getting a, a mini pro extreme but really enjoying this setup here so but no go check it out again a link will be in there because that's not really you're not going to be able to google this thing from what i've if you're on audio with us here